In recent years, defense technology has advanced rapidly, and one of the most revolutionary developments is Israel's Iron Beam, a high-energy laser air defense system developed by Elbit Systems and the Israeli Ministry of Defense. Unlike traditional interceptors, Iron Beam does not rely on expensive missiles. Instead, it uses a powerful laser to neutralize threats almost instantly at the speed of light. Israel has successfully tested the system, making it the world's first operational laser interceptor integrated into a national air defense network. It is expected to enter service with the Israel Defense Forces in 2025, complementing existing layers such as Iron Dome, David's Sling, and Arrow. How Iron Beam Works Detection and Targeting The system is fully integrated with Israel's air defense radar network. When a threat like a rocket, drone, mortar, or anti-tank missile is detected, AI-based sensors analyze its trajectory, speed, and type. The system then decides whether to engage with the laser or hand over the target to a kinetic interceptor like Iron Dome. Laser Engagement Iron Beam employs a 100-kilowatt class high-energy fiber laser. Multiple smaller beams are combined using adaptive optics into one powerful, concentrated beam. This beam focuses on a tiny area, often compared to the size of a coin, heating the target to thousands of degrees within seconds. This causes rockets to melt, drones to ignite, or warheads to detonate mid-air before reaching their targets. Engagement range, effective up to 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, optimized for short-range threats in the 4 to 7 kilometers zone. Targets neutralized, short-range rockets and mortars, anti-tank guided missiles, drones and UAV swarms, low-flying aircraft, shrapnel and small projectiles. Operational advantages. Cost efficiency. Each laser shot costs only $2 to $3.50, essentially just electricity, compared to nearly $50,000 for an Iron Dome interceptor missile. With an unlimited number of shots as long as power is available, it offers enormous savings. Instantaneous speed. Lasers engage at the speed of light, striking targets almost instantly. Precision. Adaptive optics ensure the beam stays focused despite atmospheric distortion, providing pinpoint accuracy. Unlimited ammunition, as long as power is supplied, either from ground lines or generators. Iron beam can keep firing without reloading. AI integration, smart algorithms decide the best method of interception optimizing between lasers and missiles to conserve costly interceptors. Seamless network, fully integrated into Israel's multi-layer air defense, protecting alongside Iron Dome and long-range systems like Aero. Limitations, weather conditions, reduced effectiveness in heavy fog, thick clouds, or dust storms due to laser scattering. Range restrictions, not designed for long-range or high-altitude ballistic missiles. Power dependency, requires reliable power supply, making power management critical in combat zones. Future upgrades. Israel plans to scale the system up to 500 kilowatts, enabling it to engage larger and more complex threats, including ballistic missiles. This upgrade would make Iron Beam even more versatile and lethal. Operational Use and Combat Testing Iron Beam has already been tested in real combat scenarios, reportedly intercepting dozens of Hezbollah drones during recent conflicts. 
Its effectiveness against agile, low-cost aerial threats demonstrates its potential to change the economics of air defense. Strategic Impact With its ultra-low cost per shot, ability to handle high-volume attacks, like rocket barges or drone swarms, and seamless integration with existing systems. Iron Beam represents a game-changer in modern warfare. It positions Israel at the cutting edge of laser-based defense technology, offering a sustainable, precise, and cost-effective way to counter the growing threats of the 21st century. If this technology continues to evolve, it may not just protect Israel, but also redefine global air defense strategies. What do you think about Israel's Iron Beam laser defense system? Could lasers be the future of missile defense? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.